Today is about learning to write proofs. Here are the steps to writing a proof. Step number one is the proof usually comes with some kind of a diagram. We add more information to the diagram based on what we know. The second step, we write down what we know using words. The step that we know are usually given to us. And we keep adding new facts and the reason to those facts. And we keep updating the diagram when we add new facts. And we keep doing this, keep doing this over and over until we reach the goal, which is what we're trying to prove. And then we stop. Let's do an algebra proof. If you look at the given, we're pretty, pretty much given the diagram. We have two lines with intersection and two angles. We're trying to prove x equals 7. Basically, in a proof, the answer is given to you. You're told what the answer is. You're trying to prove that the answer is correct. So once we reach our goal, x equals 7, we can stop. So the first step in a proof is we add information to our diagram. Well, I recognize these two angles. They equal each other because they're vertical angles. Okay? So I'm going to start my proof by the second step, which is writing down what we know. We know the two angles we can abbreviate are congruent because they are vertical. Congruent angles mean they equal each other, so we're allowed to equal the two expressions to come up with an equation. So we put equal 2x plus 14. These two equal because they're the same degrees. Now we just have to use algebra to solve. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. This is going to cancel out to 0. All I'm left is 5x on the left, 2x plus 21. 14 plus 7 is 21. Now I'm going to minus 2x to both sides because these are like terms. They can subtract together. What I'm left is 3x equals, this cancels out to 0, 21. When I divide by 3 to both sides, x is equal to 7. Once I reach my goal, I am done with the proof. I can stop. Let's try a geometry proof. Right here, we're given that angle A is 127 and the lines are parallel. Our goal is to prove that angle B is 127. The first step in the proof is add more information to our diagram. Well, I know this angle is 127, so I can put that in. Since the lines are parallel, I get to put in matching arrows. They are now parallel. Now I look at this and I'm going, hmm, I kind of recognize the location of angle A and angle B. And I see that this location corresponds to this location. Oh, they're corresponding angles. They have names. All right, and I know that corresponding angles in parallel lines equal each other. Well, there, I just did the mental proof showing that B is 127. Well, I'm going to write down all of those mental steps into a written proof. So we start with what we know. We're on step two of writing a proof now. We know angle A is equal to 127 degrees and lines are parallel. That's the parallel symbol. Now I'm going to start saying new information. I know for a fact angle A and angle B are corresponding angles, okay? So I'm going to say angle A and angle B are congruent because corresponding angles, and you can abbreviate, are congruent when lines are parallel. And now I'm just going to say, well, A and B are congruent, right? Therefore, here's the symbol for therefore, three dots like that. Angle B is equal to 127 degrees. You see how I just reached my proof, the goal? I am now done. 
But I just want to write a little note here for you to remember this symbol here means therefore. It also means conclusion. So rather than writing those long words, therefore, or the word conclusion, we just put the dot, 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 and that's it. We are done with the proof.